Hello and thank you for joining me again on Run Level Zero. Today we're going to look at Open Mandriva. Open Mandriva is a Linux desktop distribution that is based off of Rosa. Uh, in fact, if you've seen, if you're familiar with Rosa or if you've seen my review on Rosa, all of this looks familiar um, because it's taken directly out of Rosa Linux. Up until just a couple, well, probably about three years ago, Mandriva was one of the best choices for a new Linux user to really cut their teeth on and, and be introduced into the Linux operating system. Uh, in 2010, I believe it was, 2011, Mandriva did some restructuring and they let go a good portion of their developers those developers came together and formed Magia Linux. Rosa Linux also forked out of all that turmoil that happened uh, and, and became its own desktop. So now we have Open Mandriva coming back off of Rosa. And again, if you're familiar with Rosa, this is a familiar desktop environment. It is, it's in a word, beautiful. It is developed with the advanced user in mind so I would not recommend this for a new Linux user uh, even less so than pure Rosa and, and I'm going to show you why here in a couple of minutes I, I, I really have mixed feelings on Open Mandriva well go ahead and take a look at this desktop then I'm going to show you a couple things that you need to be aware of I do have this running in a virtual machine and as usual it has two gigabytes of RAM and two dedicated processors. Just like in Rosa Linux, Open Mandriva gives you the KDE desktop with a, a traditional layout. It means you have the one panel along the bottom. On this panel you have access to the trash can, a calendar and clock, notification area, network manager, volume control, clipboard manager. They have access to HP settings here. The control panel. This is one of two control panels that is installed. Uh, if you click it, it'll give you access to your KDE settings where you can uh, do some basic administration, uh, but mostly you want to use this to take care of your uh, desktop effects, work your theming, that sort of thing from here there is another control panel we're going to get to in just a minute. Now because this is KDE you do have KWIN installed which is the window manager for KDE which gives you access to some really cool desktop effects. Uh, a select few of those effects have already been enabled and one of them is the Expo which you can access from this icon and it will allow you to, to manage your virtual desktops. You can drag and drop uh, open applications from one desktop to another, change the focus of your desktops, and you can add and remove as many desktops as you like. Nice. You also have the stack, stack folder here, which there is a welcome PDF to give you a just an overview of what Open Mandriva is and, and kind of how to get started with it. Open applications will be displayed in the central section here. And on the left hand side of the panel, you have quick access to Amarok. Kmail is the mail client. Copete and Instant Messenger. Firefox is the web browser. And you have access to your file system through Dolphin File Manager. And just like in Rosa, you have a beautifully themed icon set. In fact, it is the same icon set. Just like Rosa Linux, uh, applications are accessed, the system is accessed through the Simple Welcome uh, program, which allows you to, it depends on the welcome screen, you have your recent applications, shortcuts to places, and recent documents. The center tab gives you the applications menu, and the tab on the right gives you uh, access to file searching. 
Installed applications, again, include Amarok, AMZ Downloader. I'm not going to go through all of these. Um, there are just a few I want to hit on because with, with a few exceptions, there are, is basically uh, Rosa Linux. There's really nothing that's been done here that, that you can't do from a Rosa install. So, yeah, there's there's a few differences. You have different uh, volume controls, NV24 control and, and echo mixer. Um, let's see. A little warning there. You have KRDC client installed. Uh, VLC has been added. Let's see. Pulse Audio is still there. LibreOffice Suite. It's, it's all pretty standard stuff, but uh, again, it's it is running pretty much in parallel to Rosa. Let's see what this system is running at here. Open up KSysGuard and take a look at the system load. It's running at 400, 400 megs of RAM, so it is running a bit lighter on system resources than Rosa was. I believe Rosa was running right at 670, so it is a little bit lighter on your system. One of the, the applications that is worth noting is their, let me get back over to it, is their custom control panel. When you go into the applications tab on the first page, at the top you have two configuration choices. Configure your desktop is the KDE configurations that is linked down here in your, on your panel. Configure your computer will take you into a more Magia or Mandriva style control panel. Give it our password. And this is actually one of the things that I like. Magia and now Open Mandriva has one of the better control panels out there. It is a consolidated control panel and you can control pretty much anything you want uh, on your system from here from software management to hardware configurations, network, system configurations, network shares, disk management, security settings where you can actually set up parental controls in your firewall, which I like that, and you can even customize your boot settings. So I, I really like this control panel. This control panel, in my opinion, is a definite win. One of the things that I really am disappointed with Open Mandriva, when we go into software management and we open up install and remove software, this opens up RPM Drake, which is the same package manager that is being used in Rosa, with one big exception. The packages you see here uh, but we go into CD burning. You see everything is already installed. There's nothing uh, for example we have Firefox installed. Say you want to install Chromium. We search for Chromium. Uh, there's no search results. That's because by default and this I believe is a holdover from Mandriva. Uh, by default Open Mandriva's software sources, its mirrors, are disabled by default. Now if you're a new Linux user or even an intermediate Linux user this can really throw you for a loop because you're you may think there's something wrong with it. The way you get this running and, and I would recommend if you do try this the first thing you do open up the Mandriva Control Center open Mandriva Control Center rather go to the software management tab and click on configure media sources for install and update. You're going to be prompt. This will open up this configure media window. Go to add. It's going to say I need to contact the Open Mandriva website to get the mirror list. Is it okay to continue? Yes. Now this is going to add and sync up your list of mirrors and repositories. So we'll give that a moment to run. Which, you know, I really wish that that they would have rethought this decision. I can easily see this turning off 
many new users or uh, I know it's it's designed for the advanced user but you know what with the layout and and just the beauty of the system I would have encouraged an intermediate or an adventurous new user to to try this if it were not for this feature I mean this this is just here we go now we have our mirror lists and we can click OK since they've been enabled now now if we go back to install and remove software let's look for chromium again it's going to refresh the the install packages and available packages again this is the equivalent to an Ubuntu system doing an apt-get update so you know if, if it wouldn't have been for this I would have really uh, encouraged an adventurous new user to try Open Mandriva but because of this I would say you know be warned <laughs> so now let's look for chromium and there it is now we can install it so this is something you're gonna have to do on your own uh, right out of the bat so apart from that apart from the control panel the only thing I can really say that Open Mandriva has above Rosa at this point is its control panel. Then again, the, the state of the mirrors being uh, disabled or not included by default, that's, in my opinion, a major drawback. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about Open Mandriva. Um, at this point in its development, I believe it is too close to Rosa. Um, I don't know. For me, a new Linux distribution should part ways with its parent in, in a significant enough fashion that you can easily tell the two apart. If I took distribution X, changed a couple programs, and repackaged it with a new wallpaper, well, it's just distribution X. It's not something new, you know? So I, I'm excited for where they're going but and I, I like to see a new distro out there but I hope that in the future releases that they will part ways enough with Rosa so that you can tell the two apart at least um, at this point I would say give it a try just be warned about those mirrors and I don't know for me personally I'll be sticking with Rosa well thank you for joining me again for another review and I hope to be with you I hope to be with you again soon for another video. Thank you.